Airbnb and sites like that are already in use in Montgomery County and in the Washington region. Uh, as we know, this region is a tourist mecca uh, from people coming from all over the world. And many of our residents uh, have a room that they could more efficiently use by renting out, or perhaps they travel occasionally for work um, and they want to rent their house out. And uh, they are doing that now with websites like Airbnb or other similar uh, websites. So um, currently, this is not a legal practice. And uh, what we need to do is recognize the changes in technology and um, you know the emergence of this new type of um, housing and uh, hotel type service and make it legal. Um, at the same time, there are very serious and legitimate concerns about how neighborhoods will continue to be the, you know, provide the same quality of life. And I asked myself in, in crafting this legislation, how would I feel if it was my own next door neighbor who uh, was, you know, potentially using Airbnb? And I conclude that I wouldn't want someone to buy the house next to me and turn it into a full-time year-round uh, short-term rental. I don't think that's really what I, you know, bought when I bought my house. But um, I'd be fine if my neighbor wanted to occasionally, you know, rent their house out. What am I going to say about that? So, um, with that kind of key protection in place, uh, the legislation, the companion legislation, um, requires that a person has to continue to be the a resident in their house. It has to be their primary residence. So that means you can't use the service for a, um, you know, you can't turn a house into a, a hotel, you know, year round. Um, at the same time, I think we have adopted a very uh, light, efficient, and easy licensing approach. We haven't relied upon expensive and complicated processes like special exceptions and, and so forth. Uh, we're making it easy for people to sign up, but, um, they do have to follow some basic rules. Uh, as part of that, um, the executive branch has requested that HHS shall administer that licensing, uh, which I'm happy to support as drafted. It was DHCA, but we can uh, make that change either way. Um, so um, we, as the council knows, we've already started to collect taxes from this service. We, uh, the executive asked us to budget $250,000 in the FY16 budget for revenue from these services. I don't think that that much money has materialized, but um, you know, given that we are relying upon tax revenue and we've accepted that, um, I think that's a, another point uh, you know, in the discussion about whether to legalize it and under what terms. So I look forward to the discussion. I think we'll have a, you know, we'll hear uh, what the community reaction is at the upcoming public hearing. I appreciate that that was done at 7.30 at night. Uh, thank you for that. and. Um, uh, thanks to my colleagues for their consideration.